will not be the first time that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be addressing the parliament of a foreign nation. To be precise, Maldives will in fact be the 11th time and also the first in his second term. The first time Prime Minister Narendra Modi had addressed the parliament of a foreign nation was way back in 2014, during his first visit to Bhutan after having taken charge. In fact, in 2014, Prime Minister Modi addressed parliaments of at least four nations. These included Bhutan, Nepal, Australia and Fiji. At the Australian Parliament, the Prime Minister spoke about India's link to the country through the Great Indian Ocean, while in Fiji he emphasised on how the diversity in society in both the nation actually binds them together. In the year 2015, he addressed the parliaments of four nations again, and these included the likes of Mauritius, Sri Lanka, Mongolia and Afghanistan. Now, in the year 2016, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the US House of Congress. It went on to become one of the most watched and memorable events in India. Addressing the US House of Congress, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in fact quoted Mahatma Gandhi and said that India and the United States have overcome the hesitations of history and are now forging a new future together. Lastly, in 2017, Narendra Modi addressed the parliament of Uganda, becoming the first Indian Prime Minister to do so. Now, during his speech, the Prime Minister in fact spoke about unity and aspirations of the young population. All right, let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on beyond. The International Cricket Council, or the ICC, is on a collision course with the Indian Cricket Board, BCCI, after rejecting a request to allow MS Dhoni to sport his military insignia on wicket-keeping gloves. Now, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, India's 2011 World Cup winning captain, was seen wearing gloves which had the Balidan or sacrifice emblem of the Indian Special Forces embossed on them during the match against South Africa on Wednesday. And that had drawn the ire of the ICC, which termed it a breach of its equipment rules and requested the BCCI to have this logo removed from Dhoni's gloves. Now, Dhoni, remember, is an honorary Lieutenant Colonel in the Parachute Regiment of India's Territorial Army. And the BCCI has made it clear that Dhoni was not displaying any political or religious statement and that he should, in fact, be allowed permission to keep wearing the gloves. The ICC, though, has shot it down, saying that its regulations stipulate that no individual messaging or logo can be displayed on equipment. They have reiterated that Dhoni is also in breach of regulations pertaining to wicket-keeping gloves, with only two sponsor logos being allowed. They also seem to draw a line by saying that Dhoni cannot wear the logo during the entire World Cup. What would you like to comment on the statement given by ICC to turn down BCCI's request, sir? A single we line, have, sir. We have given the statement to ICC, to BCCI, and, and that clarifies the matter. Now, the ball is now in the BCCI's court, as India is, of course, the financial nerve centre of the world cricket, and fans of Indian cricket are expecting a strong response. However, the controversy threatens to overshadow the build-up to India's second game of the tournament against Australia on Sunday.